Well, hello everyone. Today is December the 12th. It is Tuesday, December the 12th. And we are going to go over, I'm a, running a little bit behind on my what sold video. So I'm going to be a little bit busy today. So I am going this week, I'm going to bring you the what sold from November 27th, which is a Monday to December the 3rd. And then I'm also going to attempt to, to post another video this week of what sold from December the 4th through December the 10th. If you watched my last what sold video, I, you know that I, I just did not perform very well. And it was my fault. I just was not posting consistently. I'm trying to get back at it. I had a weekend out of town. Um, I was in a craft fair. And so, yeah, so this week's not starting off great, but the cells have definitely picked up. And I think one of the main factors is I have been active in the platforms. I've been, you know, it's the end of the year. I'm really trying to clean up my inventory. Um, I'm having cells because I want to get old inventory out. So one of the things that I decided to do was last week, it was, I knew I was gonna be slow at posting, just getting ready for the craft fair. So I ran a 25% off sell over the weekend. I think I started it Friday and then I ended it Monday at midnight, like yesterday at midnight. So then what I did is I am running a 30% off sell this entire week. And then the week of Christmas, I am going to have a 50% off sale of all my old stale inventory that I just hasn't moved because I really want to work on getting better quality items. Um, that's one of my goals for 2024. I do feel limited just from like where I'm at. Um, you know, regionally where I'm at, I feel a little bit limited on places I can go. Um, I'm, I haven't really stepped into retail arbitrage. I feel like it would be a lot for me to take on. So I don't know. I'm very, very, very interested in um, kind of jumping into storage, like getting my first storage unit and seeing what that's about. I've been following some great YouTubers and they um, do storage units. And so I'm just, I'm a little bit interested. I know you can get a lot of junk that way um, and maybe not as high quality, but I also, I have two flea market booths locally that I, um, you know, kind of fill with some items that I can't really post or I don't want to have to ship or, you know, just any kind of factors like that where I just don't feel like it'd be good online, then I'll put in my local flea market booth. So anyway, I don't know. It's something I'm thinking of, but this week was definitely better than last. Um, I had, sorry, I had 25 cells this week. So last or the week of 20, the 27 through the third. Um, I had 25 cells. The week prior, I only had 17 cells, and I believe my net profit was in like 170 something. Um, so this week was a little bit better, so I'm gonna jump into it. I have my trusty sidekick right beside me, Lulu. Are you gonna say hi? Come here. Come here. Oh, that's so sweet. There's Miss Lulu. She is right beside me in her own chair because that's how we do things here. She has her own chair right beside her mama. So anyway, we are gonna jump into it. So I'm gonna scoot just a skosh. <clears throat> so I had 15, I had um, 18 sales on eBay, one Mercari, one Facebook. Facebook still gave me a sell this, this, the week, this week. And then I had five Etsy sales, which is definitely a change. Um, I've definitely seen a pickup in Etsy for the Christmas holiday. So 
Anyway, let's just jump into it. The first cell I had is my Mercari cell, and it is a vintage 1982 Cabbage Patch Kids baby boy or boy doll, blonde hair, blue eyes, one dimple. So, Cabbage Patch, a lot of them are just bread and butter, I feel like. This is my personal opinion. If you find them in the boxes, um, especially vintage in the boxes, they do very well. Some of them can do very well. This guy, not so much. He was a little bit dirty. He had some condition issues. I cleaned him as much as I could, but still, I, he just sat and sat and sat. And finally, I had a, a gentleman reach out to me on Mercari and he said, hey, would you do 15 um, plus, you know, and would you do 15? Because I pay for shipping on Mercari. And truthfully, guys, I was ready for it to go. I was sick of it being in my inventory. So I said, sure. And he was thrilled. He said, you know, I have a special needs daughter and she's going to love this. And so that made me feel good. Um, but after it was all said and done, fees, shipping, I only profited $3.74. This was very old inventory, so I was not able to see what I had into the piece. Um, most likely, I had around a dollar. Um, I usually do not pay up for plush unless I absolutely know it's going to be something fantastic. So, I'm pretty sure I got this at the bins too. So, anyway, it's out, it's out of my inventory, and there's lots more room for something else, right? So... The next item was my one Facebook cell, and this was a vintage stoneware pottery blue floral coffee mug. I I don't know why, but I have this weird thing with coffee mugs. I've, I think I've said it in an old video. I love, love, love vintage coffee mugs, and um, this was no exception. So I did pick this up. It's been setting in my inventory forever. So I did um, decrease the cost of this at one time. So I um, accepted $8. They paid $10 in shipping. And so um, after fees, and the shipping actually was $11.97. So I lost money on the shipping. Um, I can't, I can't, it was probably only California, I'm assuming. Um, so Missouri to California, when I see the Cali, I love cells and I love my California customers, but sometimes when I see them, especially on certain items, I'm like, oh, this, it's just the shipping cost. So I did make $5.04 on this. And you know, it's $5 that I didn't have before. It has that in my inventory a while, and I'm trying to train myself to leave coffee mugs alone unless I absolutely know it's gonna bring me a profit, um, a good profit. So anyway, um, yeah, so I, I was happy. I was happy to see it go. So let's go to my Etsy sales. If you have watched some of my pre recent um, previous haul videos, you saw that I did buy some Revere Wear pots. Um, I had, th I think I, yes, three of them. So my cost of goods um, was $1.11 a piece. So I had an older listing for, um, some Revere wear. So what I did is I got those two pots out and I made um, a bigger listing. Um, you can see, so there two of these were, I bought two of these together for 222 was my cost of goods. And then the smaller pan was a previous older inventory I had. So I added it to it so I had Revere Wear 1801 Vintage Sauce Pan Pots Lot of Three Copper Bottom, and I um, sold. I I don't. I'm trying to think. Yes, I sold for twenty five dollars. So um, they also paid shipping. So after everything was said and done, I made um, nineteen fifty nine on these three on these three pots. So 
And that was after my cost of goods and everything. So I was pretty happy with that. This next one was a banger. Um, so I went to a local garage sale. I don't really venture out to garage sales much around here because around, I live around the lake. So unless there's a garage sale in town or close to me that I see, it just, sometimes you can only be six miles from something, but it takes you 25 minutes to get there. So I'm trying to learn, you know, what's, what's better for me just to go thrifting around here or to spend miles and miles trying to go to little garage sales and find really good deals. So I don't know, but this happened to be close to me. This lady had, it was her grandchildren. She had like a huge lot of Fisher Price little people. And these ranged anywhere from the 90s um, to the 2000s. They were, they kind of had the fatter bases. So this was a lot of Fisher Price little people, 90s to 2000s, large lot of 90. There were 90 pieces in this lot. I posted high. I bought this lot for $5 for the tub. I was actually, she didn't have it marked. And I said, what do you want on your toys? And there were some other um, vintage toys in that same bin that I ended up putting in my booth. Um, and they have, they have sold. And she said, oh, just give me $5. And so I was like, yes, um, because I know little people will sell. And especially I find that if you lot them, you sell them way, it's, they're out of your hair way easier. So I sold this lot for $120 plus shipping. So after everything was said and done, my cost of goods, which was $5, the shipping, um, everything, I profited $101.57. I, yes, I, I was so ecstatic when that sale came through, like so ecstatic. And that lot is out of my shelves. So I am happy to clear that out. The next piece is a vintage Germany nesting shot glass, um, shot glasses in leather case set of four. <clears throat> Sometimes you just buy things because you love them, right? And you're like, I don't know what kind of profit this is going to give me, but I love this piece. And I find those pieces you will list faster because you love it. So you, you, you just give it a little bit of attention more than what your other inventory gets. And so I posted this fairly quickly. Um, my cost of goods was $2 and I sold these for $26 plus shipping. And uh, my net profit was $21.26. This was a really cool piece. So the shot glasses, they were inside each other. They were all nesting, so you could take them all out. In my picture, you can see they're all out. And they had this old leather case that, like a carry case that, that they were in. And I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. So anyway, it was very cool, very cool vintage piece. And I am glad to see it go, though. So... Next up is a set of four margarita cactus glasses. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, there's something about these glasses I love, guys. I don't know what it is, but in any time I have them, they sell. They sell well, um, or they sell fast, I should say. And, um, sorry, I got a hair. It's driving me crazy. There we go. Um, but they sell quick and this was no exception. I just picked these up not too long ago. I, they may have been in a recent haul and now my cost of goods, I paid a dollar a piece for these. So my cost of goods was fairly high at $4. These were not marked Libby. So I wanted to be very straightforward. I think my description even said they are not marked Libby. Um, so I was, they looked, just like the Libby glasses though. So I was very transparent with that. Um, I sold these for $18. So I maybe posted a little bit low, but I know that's the price that they'll sell at. I've sold them multiple times before. I don't want glass sitting on my inventory shelves. I have enough of it. <laughs> and so I did, um, I, I, I did post them for $18. So after everything's said and done, 
I profited $12.42. So, you know, that's not bad. Um, they weren't, they weren't hard to pack. I do fairly well with, um, packing glass. I'm, I don't want to say I'm a pro at it. I, I've learned. Let's just say that. If you, if you pack enough glass and you have enough <laughs> refunds because things have broke, you get fairly good at, okay, this is not going to happen again. And so early, early, early on when I shipped glass, I had a hard, a couple hard lessons that I learned. And so I'm a little bit better at it every once in a while. Um, you can't, you know, you don't know what's going to happen to that package. So it's just the way it goes sometimes. And then my last Etsy sell was this um, vintage J. Jill 100% linen oversized cardigan. It just was really kind of a cool piece. Um, I don't really feel like I put it on my mannequin. Um, I don't know. You can tell it's definitely, I'm sitting here looking at a picture of it. You can tell it's definitely oversized. And, um, it was kind of a cool retro piece. So my cost of goods on this item was a dollar and 43 cents. It was, I believe it was in a bag that I had bought. So when I averaged the cost of goods out, that's what it was. And after everything was said and done, I made, I'm trying to look here, $13 and 52 cents. So not bad. I, um, I didn't have this piece long at all. So there's that. Um, so let's see. I think we are ready for eBay, aren't we? Okay. So my pictures are a little jumbled up. I'm trying to figure out the best way for me to do this. So I'm just going to go by my pictures. So I hope I don't stumble on my, my words, uh, very much for you. So this first one up is a Lane Bryant white cropped. Nope. Sorry. My bad. I'm already stumbling on my words. Um, Trying to find it, y'all. Okay, so this is a Lane Bryant um, Livy, yeah, Livy adjustable high impact sports bra, teal and black. My cost of goods on this bra. Well, I actually didn't have my cost of goods down on this, so it was maybe a, a, a little bit of an older piece. I knew this would eventually sell. It was super great quality. And so um, this did sell for $15 plus shipping. After everything was said, I made $12.65. So. Lane Bryant, and you'll see, I have another piece. Um, it does fairly decent. Um, I think it really kind of depends on the pieces. The bras, very, a lot of women go to Lane Bryant for their bra, bras. They're very high quality um, for the price. Now, they're pretty price. I think just bras in general are pricey <laughs> um, for a good quality one. So, anyway not too bad 12 dollars, and it went out the door um next is this eddie bauer laid back twill jogger pants elastic waist size six black my cost of goods on this they, it was a dollar 14. i got it and two other same exact pants in different colors um so this one Sold for $13.50. It was an offer I accepted. And so after everything was said and done, I made nine dollars and eight cents. So not bad. $114 into nine. So Chico's um black white striped dress, bell sleeves, size one medium. That my cost of goods on this dress was a dollar. I accepted an offer of $16. And so after everything, I made $13.89. It was a fairly quick flip as well. So next, you, um, you guys definitely saw this in a recent video. I took a chance on this. I don't feel like it was taking a chance really. It was just, I paid higher than I normally pay for goods. And I know sometimes to get goods, good goods, 
you have to pay higher. And it was beautiful. I actually, I was like, man, I wish this was in my size. It's so pretty. Um, Talbot's is doing very well in some of their pieces right now. So this is a Talbot's herringbone wool blend pastel purple lavender blazer jacket, women's size 18. My cost of goods was $6.99. I um, posted this for $42. I got a full price sell. And after everything was said and done, I made $30.45. So that was a very, very, very quick flip. And I made $30 on it. So very happy with that. Next, I, I bought a whole lot of these things. I just want rid of them. You know where you buy inventory and you're like, what was I thinking? <laughs> I just want rid of these things. So this next piece is one of those. It's an old 1994 McDonald's Hot Wheels black cat vehicle. Number 10. Happy Bill toy. It was... Back in the day, it was a Happy Mo Happy Meal toy, and people collected these, and some people still do, but I'm telling you, um, I'm ready to get rid of them, and so I have post. They are very low. I'm almost at the point of just grouping the rest of them together and just market it super cheap to get rid of, but anyway, I sold this for $3. This kind of tells you I will sell anything. <laughs> Okay, $3. Um, so after that and shipping, I made $1.61. So goodbye. And I made, I paid probably pennies for this. Um, so next up, we have these vintage Bonanza Advertising Steakhouse Employee Patches. These have been in my previous What Sold videos. Um, I bought, um, they were in a big lot, a big bag where I probably got anywhere from 150 to 170 patches and, or, and, or stickers. And so I have already, um, broke even on this bag. And so this is just extra. So, um, this guy offered, he reached out to me and he said, um, would you accept, I posted them for $4 each. I had 31 of these patches. And he said, would you, if I bought 10, would you take $3 a patch? I'm like, yes, because I have already made, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking even on this bag. I have lots more patches to list. So I said yes, and um, I will refund you whatever the overage on the shipping. So we did that. After everything was said and done, I made $24.71 on this lot of 10. So I was super happy um, with this because it put me, now I'm in, I'm in the green on this. I'm $24 ahead. So I was very happy with that and I was glad to see them go. Next is a Lane Bryant white cropped rib dolman sleeve top, size 14, 16. This was very, it's very, very cute. I actually debated on keeping it. It's just a little too cropped for, for my, for my liking. Um, my cost of goods was $1.21. I, um, posted this, I believe for $12.99. I got an offer of $9 and truthfully, I just, I'm wanting to see things move. Um, and so I went it, I just accepted. So $9 plus shipping. So my profit was only after cost of goods and everything, $5. And then I just yesterday got a return for this. And now I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but I do not typically accept returns, but eBay will make you accept a return. So if you're a seller and you're like, I'm not gonna accept returns, well, you can't get by with that. You have to accept returns. It's eBay's way. So um, anyway, he reached out and he said, I thought this was a girl's 1416 and I was trying to buy it for my daughter for her TikTok videos. I said, well, just for your information, <laughs> Lane Bryant is a plus size women's um, brand. And 
I'm pretty sure I put women's in the description. So I said, I will accept a return. Um, you'll just need to put that it doesn't fit or that you changed your mind because that way I was not out on the shipping back to me. He can pay for that. That was his mistake. And so I definitely accept returns. Um, you know, I'm not going to fight someone, but they're going to have to pay for the shipping back to me. And truthfully, I feel like I've had people reach out and say, well, I would have bought this, but I see that you don't accept returns. Well, and that tells me you are going to return it knowing you are going to buy it. So I don't know. I, I mean, you have to accept returns, whether you put, you accept them or not per eBay. And so anyway, I work with customers. If someone doesn't like something, I'm not going to like you know, no, I mean, that's going to hurt your feedback as well. So anyway, just be very transparent, work with your customers. And he, he, you know, he was like, that's my bad. I'm sorry. And thank you for, you know, taking this back essentially. But he still, I'm kind of like, you're, st you're out, you know, the shipping t to him was $6. So he's going to be out that extra. So it's almost like, well, you might as well just keep it. But anyway, it is what it is. He's just trying to recoup some of his money. So that's the way it is. Um, this next piece was a re very recent haul. Vintage Needlepoint Rabbit Bunny 9.5 inch decor pillow velvet back. These pillows, um, I also got my higher, it was a higher cost of goods at $4.99. I knew this would sell. I just knew it would. These vintage needlepoint pillows, they sell very well. So I did sell this for $20. And yeah, it was listed for 20, 20 for 22. So I sent out an offer for 20 and they accepted. So after everything was said and done, I I profited $12.74. So there's that. This next one was a C.E. Schmidt workwear overalls, women's medium fit for her purple insulated. These workwear overalls sell very well, whether it's a man's, whether it's a woman's, whether it's a kid's. So I picked them up. You can just tell by looking at this picture, there's some condition issues. They were worn, you can tell, but the inside insulation was intact. Um, I do not have a cost of goods truthfully it was older stell inventory that i never posted it was dead it was in my dead pile so finally i got up to posting it i posted it for 42 dollars. i accepted an offer of 33 dollars plus shipping and i made 27 dollars and 18 cents on these and they were just sitting in my death pile so post your death pile i'm going to be working on a video later that's going to be a couple laundry baskets full of, I don't know why, um, full of maybe stuff that's been posted um, and I just don't have in my inventory bins. And I think it's a mixture, truthfully, because I was lazy and didn't get things posted good. So um, up next is an anthropology bralette. <clears throat> um, let me see. Here it is. It's Anthropology Women's Jenny Seamless Teaback Bralette Pink Metallic. I was able to find the name of this bralette. Um, it was very cute. Kind of had like the me metallic fabric um, through it. My cost of goods was $0.94. Cents. I got this at the bins. And after everything was said and done. Oh, I took, um, I sent out an offer and um, they accepted at $8.09. And then um, I profited $5.47 on this. So I was pretty happy with this. Um, the next piece is a New Day Women's Black Tank Lightweight Sweater Material Size Extra Large. Very, very, very old. You can see that I actually was done with this item and posted it for $1.99. It was very nice. It was a very nice black sweater that would have been great under like a cardigan um, or, you know, tucked into a pencil skirt. Um, very, very cute, but it just wasn't moving. 
So I did post it for $1.99. I did make a little bit off of the shipping. The shipping was lower than I charged and I profited at $1.71. So not a banger, but it's, um, it sold and it's out of here. I don't have to look at it anymore. The next is a really recent item. You've probably seen recently. It's an Ann Taylor viscose nylon scallop design cardigan size medium. And then I put old money. Um, so I used that old money in my description. I received an offer for $11 on this. I posted it for $12.99. I accepted the offer. I'm all about quick sales, whether I'm going to make a lot or not. And I profited $8.02. So that went very quick. Um, next is a vintage retro Sterilite Butterfly 1591 sugar canister. And then I added goes with the Lazy Susan. This was part of a Lazy Susan set back in the day. Very cool retro set. And I sent out an offer and they accepted for $11.69. So after everything, I made $9.34 on this piece. So I was happy with that. And you know, it was kind of, I mean, it was a canister, so it wasn't taking up a lot of room, but on my sh inventory shelves, and someday maybe I'll, I'll show you those. <laughs> there are no condition to show anyone right now, but um, it'd be, it'd be very, a very transparent video. Um, next is this Patagonia Worn Wear Women's Fits Roy, Roy Bear Lightweight Hoodie, gray, size medium. This did have some condition issues. There were stains. I was very transparent in my description. And so I um, sold this piece. I listed for 15. I received an offer for 13. I went ahead and accepted it. And it took me a while to list this because it did have some condition issues. Excuse me. It was a worn wear piece, so it had been worn previously um, and redone with by the company. But I made $10.15 on this, so not too shabby. Up next is this Victoria's Secret Ultimate Pink Gray Capri Legging Size Large. And... I'm starting to get really picky. I used to pick up Victoria's Secret in pink. Now I'm just super picky with it. Um, I didn't realize I had these listed as high as I did. I think I had $15 on them. And they, they've been in my inventory for a while. So I received an offer of $10. I accepted. And then my, my profit was $8.39. So I was happy with that. Next up is this vintage rustic seven inch tree bark wood nut bowl with nutcracker and two picks. These pieces are very cool. They're very vintage. Um, I did not have my cost of goods written down for this piece. So it's a little bit older inventory, but I did um, sell it for $21 plus shipping and I profited $16.68. Next is this National Park Service Volunteer Coffee Mug, green arrowhead. And I, um, my cost of goods was a dollar for this piece and I sold this for, I took an offer of $8 and it sold. I had sold this previously, like a couple weeks before and they, uh, the person never paid. And so you know how you have to wait like the four or five days before you're able to cancel and relist, which that drives me crazy. I wish eBay would give people three days max um, to pay and then you can cancel because I I will send out, I know, I typically will wait three days to send a reminder, but it just seems like sometimes you're waiting forever to be able to just, if they don't respond to your reminders, then you should just be able to cancel on them. Um, that's my opinion. Um, yeah, it happens all the time. It happens. So, and those people don't, I don't, I don't know. I guess it doesn't go against them anymore. Like back in the day, eBay, it, you, they would shut down your account if you did not pay for your items. And they, you know, it says it's a, you're basically, it's a binding contract when you, um, you know, buy something, but they just let people get by with it. And those people just turn around, and open new accounts and ugh, I could go on. But anyway, 
So I sold this for $8 um, and I made $7.12 on this. So not bad. I made a little bit off of the shipping. So, all right. Is this our last piece? I think it is, guys. Um, this video has been long enough. Um, Nike Pro White Athletic Shorts Compression with Compression um, Size Medium. These did have compression shorts underneath. So they had a stain, a teeny tiny stain when I posted them. And then I was able to treat that stain and get it out. So I reposted. Um, so I... My cost of goods was 94 cents. I got these at the same trip as that anthropology bralette um, at the bins. And I um, set an offer out and they accepted for $11.69. So I made $9.31. So after everything was said and done for this week, November 27th through the 3rd, I profited $390.64, so not bad for being a part-time reseller, having a full-time job. Um, you know, I felt like I had to hustle this week, and um, but I still, I always feel like I don't do it enough, especially for maybe wanting to do this full-time one day in the future. So anyway, it's a work in progress, it always is. And thanks for joining. Um, please, if you like these videos, let me know. I always, I like what sold videos because it always kind of gives me an idea of what's selling, how much it's selling for realistically. Um, I do not have a big following. So, you know, I I am in the 20s on my, on my followers. So it's not like I have any kind of... Um, you know, viewer sells at this point. Like this is me being transparent, making a dollar sixty one for a McDonald's toy. <laughs> so anyway, let me know, like and subscribe, and I appreciate you staying and watching this video. Have a blessed day.